If we use the distributive law in reverse, in other words, instead of left to right, if we start on the right, we can write an equivalent expression to that of what appears on the left. We have the basis for a process called factoring. To factor an expression means to write an equivalent expression that is a product. Recall that the parts of the product are called factors. A common factor is a factor that appears in every term in an expression. And let's use the distributive law, as I previously just explained, to factor each of the following. And we're moving to the left to simplify these. So between these two terms, there's a common 5. So we will factor out that 5, which you can think of that as division. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. The 5's cancel out, leaving a y from the first term. The 5's cancel out, leaving a z in the second term. And if you check this, using the distributive law left to right, 5 times y is 5y, 5 times z is 5z, we have the expression that we started with. In this next one, the common factor of these two terms is 7, so using the distributive law, we are going to undo that distribution of multiplication by factoring, which is dividing, and 7 divided by 7 leaves us a 1. 7 divided by 7 cancels out, leaving a 1, but we still have that y term. And to check this, use the distributive from left to right, distribute that multiplication instead of the division, the factoring that we were just doing, and you see 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times y is 7y. We result in that original expression that we had of 7 plus 7y. In this last example, we're looking for a common factor. The highest we can go is 3, obviously, and 3, as a matter of fact, is a factor of 18. In other words, it goes in evenly into 18. So using the distributive, we are going to factor or divide each term by 3. This time, the expression 18x divided by 3, we divide by 3 in the denominator and 3 here into the numerator leaves us with a 6. So we have the 6x, the 3 divided by 3, they cancel out, leaving a 1. And again, to check whether we've done this correctly, distribute the multiplication. 3 times 6x is 18x, plus 3 times 1 gives us 3.